We shared with you recently about a national program for famous and historic trees, and it's very ironic that we have a lot of those famous and historic trees right here in Oklahoma, especially in the Tulsa area. And joining me today is Mr. Don Massey, an arborist with CRD Tree Services Incorporated out of Tulsa. And Don, welcome to Oklahoma Garden. Well, thank you, Steve. It's good to be here. Thanks. Now, I understand you're kind of an advocate, in a way, for historical trees. Tell us how you got started in that project. Well, as, as our company is a tree service here in town, we just enjoy maintaining and preserving trees. And especially these historical trees, we like people to know about them and be able to share some information about them so people can know where they're at and the information uh, that's historical about them. Okay. And uh, that's why we've got you here today, because you're going to share with us about some of the ones in Tulsa. Now, we're standing in front of a historical tree. Yes. Tell me about this particular well, one. This is called the Creek Council Oak Tree in downtown Oklahoma, uh, downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma. And this tree was uh, the meeting site of the Lakapoka Indian tribes back in the 1830s when they, came, when they were forced from Alabama here to Tulsa. And this is where they had many, held many of their ceremonies. Now, it's really uh, been preserved into a nice park, but I, I understand there's a little bit of a history there where it was threatened at one time. What happened? It, yes, at, at one time the property had changed hands many t uh, several times, but at one time a, a parking lot was uh, proposed to go in here, and uh, an uproar certainly surfaced among the city, and three businessmen bought the property and deeded it back to the city of Tulsa as a park. Okay, well, it's, it's very well kept, and again, very close to downtown Tulsa it because is. we can see some of the high-rises. Mm -hmm. Now another historical tree that has a significant tie into this one is also located here in Tulsa. Tell us about that one. Yes, well we have what's called an Indian signal tree here at 38th and Exanthus here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that is what in the 1830s the Indians would take these uh, little saplings and bend them over and stake them down so they would grow in a crooked direction. Well, they all pointed to the council oak tree downtown. So this, this tree points in this direction. So like a good road map in it's, a way. It's like a highway sign. Okay, now what about the type of tree, signal tree? I think it's interesting to know what type of tree Well, the is. Indian signal tree is a black oak. Okay, very common tree right in right Oklahoma. Up. Now, another one with a little bit of history in Indian heritage, too, is uh, a hanging tree. That's right. In uh, Third North Lawton, we have what's a hanging tree. And uh, the chief, when they came from Alabama, built this uh, log cabin nearby that location. And uh, that was the site of many festivals and picnics and things that the Indians had. But also, Billy Burner, an Indian uh, boy who came uh, with his parents from Alabama, witnessed three men being hung on that tree uh, that were convicted of cattle rustling. Okay, now there's a little bit more to that tree, too. I mean, it actually has another record as far as its size. Well, yes, that happens to be the largest bur oak here in Tulsa County. Okay, and, and how big would that be? Well, it's 13 feet in circumference and 66 feet in height. Okay. Now, I also find it interesting, a little history about a tree in Salina, Oklahoma. Yes, we have, there's a paradise tree that uh, we, is the first tree planted in Oklahoma. And uh, Major John Pierre Choteau brought that tree from France around uh, 1796 and planted it there. Okay, now you think it might actually be a sucker from the original tree or something possible? Well, it's possible that it may have come back, that the original tree may have died back and the tree came back from, a, from the stump. Okay. But anyway, but there is a tree there and it's, uh, it's very unique. Okay. Now, the last one is, is getting ready to become a historical tree in a way because of a new record it's going to set. That, that, that's right. The sycamore tree here in Tulsa, the 26th and Riverside, uh, now is, appears to be the largest tree in Oklahoma. The, the former record uh, was uh, knocked down by a windstorm last year in, uh, out in Woodward. So we now believe that the largest tree in Oklahoma is located here in Tulsa. And that size is? Well, it's a sycamore tree and it's uh, 21 foot in circumference, 114 foot in height. As a crown spread of 110 feet crosses four different property lines. And it must like its location. Well, I think right next to the river, it must really be getting uh, okay. that river water. Well, Don, that's very interesting uh, historical information. We're glad that you're taking interest in it because we talked about if trees could talk and tell stories, and in a way, you're helping do that by advocating historical trees, and we appreciate you joining us. It sounds like a great idea for you to maybe join uh, your family and drive around and look at some of these historical trees, and it may have even caught your interest at looking at some of your trees in your area. Do you think you may have a record? I guess the best thing would be to contact the Department of Forestry Department there of Forestry in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Don, thanks again. Well, thank you, Steve.